myself in the gym today, so I thought it'd be a good time to talk to you about one of my favorite bags here, uh, the double end bag, okay? Now, different gyms are going to call this different things. Some people call it a floor to ceiling bag. Some people call it a headache bag, a timing bag. Uh, we, we go by a double end bag. We're all describing the same thing. It's a, it's a bag with held in place by two lines, uh, elastic, two elastic lines each way. And the cool thing about it is, unlike that heavy bag where it's just like 200 pounds hanging straight down and you could hit it with a baseball bat or a handful of buckshot, this is much more difficult to consistently hit. And in order to be consistent about it, in order to be productive about it, you have to utilize uh, the most basic fundamentals of boxing, which are timing and distance, okay? So first and foremost, for the beginner, you never touched this bag before, you've never worked it, uh, you don't know anything about it. Just like an opponent in the ring, what you're gonna use is your jab, okay? Because your jab is how you learn about your opponent. Your jab oh, is how you study your opponent. So, you know, I get my jab going, start coming into it, start seeing what distance needed to get this shot off is. So that means that's the distance boom, to get my power shots off. Maybe put a hook behind it. Bang, bang, boom. Bang, get it. Bang, pick it back up with that jab. Boom. Maybe throw a combination. Bop, 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 bop. Come from underneath. Boom, 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 boom. All useful things because of the nature of this bag's returning to me, giving me something to time. Well, because it's returning to me, I can also utilize head movement and be practicing slipping my shots. I can practice blocking my shots. And if I can do all that, I can certainly counter punch. Hey, boom. Maybe a little block and pop. Boom. What if I lose track of it? Oh no, what happened to it? Well, no problem. I use my jab again. Regain that control. And once I have that control, boom. Start getting my power shots off again. Can use this bag for endurance, maybe hitting it every other hit. Making sure your hands return back to your guard. Chin is down, elbows in, hands up. Maybe hitting it with no ricochet back. Maybe adding some movement. Going back to just that traditional boxing. Nothing too hard, nothing too crazy. Being consistent. Utilizing the distance, utilizing the timing, I think is really going to have a transfer effect to that ring behind me, okay? And speaking to that ring behind me, it's on you as the boxer to make this as realistic as possible. Don't be doing shit with your hands down, your chin up, square, one big punch at a time, ugly punch at that, all right? You want to put some style into it. You want to start with the good fundamentals. And then you want to start bringing that realism into this as much as you possibly can. Maybe it's short range shots. Maybe it's out from a further distance boxing. Maybe coming to a little bit of long range movements, lead shots. All can be utilized with a bag like this. One of my favorites to have in the gym. You see here, I got it attached. Elastic band there. Another one down there. I got this thing roughly in the center. That's an important factor with this bag, too, is you want to keep them as much in the center of those two joints as possible so it gets an even ricochet back at you, right? And then I'm in the benefit where I can make this about the height of me. So you see, when I'm in my boxing stance, I'm basically looking eye to eye at this sucker so if you go to my gym and you're 6'3 don't be mad at me anyways learn how to use this bag get your jab off of it get your combinations going variety of shots short range uppercuts hooks and of course combination punching which i think is one of the most useful things for this bag also okay anyways practice it utilize it Make it become part of your routine and uh, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.